Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Rick. Welcome to a brand new YouTube video. And as you can see from the gameplay you are watching, we're playing some X Defiance, a 47 and 7 gameplay. Absolutely go crazy, but we're not talking about X Defiance today. Today, we're going to be talking about Nadia, the most famous female Warzone cheater we have ever seen within Call of Duty, Activision, Warzone, whatever you want to call it, the most famous cheater, most obvious cheater I've ever seen. The reason I want to make this video was I saw a video yesterday. For some reason, it was on my recommended within YouTube and it was talk about Nadia's rise and then her downfall and how she literally got permanently banned within Call of Duty because everybody knew everybody, even Helen Keller who can't even fucking see or hear, knew that Nadia was cheating. And I haven't watched Nadia in fucking years, man. I, I used to watch her a little bit back when everybody was saying she was a cheater. So I watched her, literally watched how she played, watched her eyes, watched literally everything about her gameplay. And I knew damn well, even back then, that she was cheating. So I wanted to look her up on Twitch and see what she was doing. I wanted to see if she was even around, if she was even relevant anymore. I had no idea what she was doing now. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, she is still playing this fucking game. Somehow, someway, a permanently banned Warzone streamer who was proven to be cheating, who was not allowed to go to LAN events because she was a known cheater, somehow, someway is still able to play this game. Now, I'm not going to go and waste my time to watch her gameplay right now and see if she's still cheating. I'm not going to waste my time on doing that because everybody knows that she's a cheater. And once a cheater, always a cheater. But the main problem I have with this, ladies and gentlemen, is that if somebody was permanently banned in the past for cheating on a game... Bro... Bro, I just got banned. Cheating, making tons of money, thousands, maybe even millions of dollars from this game because they were cheating. Why are they still allowed to play this game? I know damn well that she's still going in tournaments. She's still playing in tournaments from her house. Possibly could still be cheating. I'm not saying she is, but she could be. She's still making money off this game. Thousands of subscribers within Twitch. Thousands of dollars a month still from all her simps that still believe she's not cheating. But somehow, someway, Activision doesn't want to permanently ban her new accounts every single time she plays this game. I just don't understand what the fuck is going on at Activision. I don't understand what's going on over there. Activision, Microsoft, whoever the fuck's in charge. I have no idea why they continue to let this shit happen. Just imagine this for a second. A known, proven cheater, just like her, just like BAMs, both getting permanently banned, are still allowed to play this game. They get permanently banned on stream, both proven. Dude. There is no fucking way this just happened. But somehow, some way, Activision does not give a flying fuck, and they still will let these people make thousands and thousands of dollars a month, still be able to play this game, still possibly be able to cheat. Who the hell knows? But damn, there is a certain point where we have to have certain values as a company, Activision. My father is a small business owner. I am basically the manager of that small business. So we literally are on the same page. We have values. We literally understand how a business is supposed to work and what you are doing Activision you are literally letting the lowest of the low the scum of the Call of Duty community those who have been proven to be cheating you are allowing them to continue to play this game because you're scared you want them to still somehow make this game relevant I don't know what it is but you are literally making this game a fucking joke I just had to make this video because I was so shocked that she was still playing this game and then I heard back a few months ago her and this other girl streamer won a Warzone tournament from their homes. It was obviously not a LAN tournament because she wouldn't be invited. She won a tournament from her home. A known previous cheater won a Warzone tournament from her house. What a fucking joke that is. Why is she even allowed to go into a tournament? Why is she even allowed to get money from this game still? I might be a freaking jealous bitch. I'm telling you right now, I'm not jealous. You guys are going to probably call me jealous. All you haters that love these fucking Warzone streamers probably look at them as God. Holy shit. But I'm just telling you right now, I stand for the things that are right. I stand for the game that needs to be fucking played. And that's a normal, basic ass game. No cheating. No hacking. No reverse boosting. None of this fake ass bullshit. None of it. Ah, they're all on the same page to me. All fucking low ass scum of this earth.
Weirdos. That's what I think. Oh my god, but unfortunately, we all know, ladies and gentlemen, as we have continued to play this game for years and years and years, we all know Activision is not going to change. We all know Activision doesn't give a fuck. We all know that they're probably at their studios today. Well, it's a weekend, so maybe not today, but Monday, they're going to go in there with their fucking matcha from Starbucks. They're probably going to have a little joint in their mouth because they're from California, and they're all, you know, about being a little laid back, a little chill people. Yeah, I got to be chill at work, dude. They're all going to walk in their office. They're all going to start working on their little fluffy bunny skins or whatever the hell operator skins next. They're going to work on a fucking camel that's $100 but doesn't even fucking move, but, you know, some people will buy that camel, and it took them probably two minutes to make. They all know that everybody in their fucking mother who play this game that actually have a brain aren't gonna buy it but maybe somebody that's a little kid steals their mom and dad's credit card easy hundred dollars made for activision but they're gonna walk in their office and be like ah that guy's cheating but who gives a fuck he's he's a streamer or she's a streamer they got a lot of followers they make this game kind of relevant now even though x finds out and all these other games black ops 6 is coming out soon you know so call of duty mount for three has got to stay relevant somehow nah 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 just let them keep playing don't ban them don't ban them let them let them make thousands and thousands of dollars basically stealing from the call of duty community yeah yeah, yeah. let them let them do it yeah come on <laughs> what a fucking joke Oh my god, dude, what a, uh, 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 when I wake up and I see that Nadia is still playing this game, when I see Bams is still allowed to play this game, it's like, what is the point of even having an anti-cheat? What is the point of even allowing these guys, like, get, get rid of the anti-cheat at this point? Who gives a fuck now? I mean, somebody's gonna get banned, they're gonna get permanently banned on stream, proven cheater, and somehow they're gonna still be able to play the fucking game? Why even perma-ban them? Why even ban them at all? God, the stupidity is on another level. I feel like I'm talking to Grandpa Joe, Joe Biden every day. Jesus Christ. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, man. I, I just I just don't know what to say anymore other than these guys are fucking idiots. They're clueless. They're lost. Every single one of them in Activision. Call me up. I will make sure the company can be turned around. Let the Rick join up here now. Come on. Other than that, man, enjoy your guys' weekend. Enjoy your guys' Saturday. If I see you guys in the next one, man, I love to see you, man. Peace. Have a great day. Sit on the face. Sit on the face of the Rick. <laughs>